The Association of Minority Enterprises of New York, Inc., AMNI, is a minority and woman business enterprise, non-for-profit trade organization dedicated to the development and enhancement of its constituents and the economic viability of disadvantaged communities. The association provides training and technical assistance to its members and establishes community support for the MWBE community. AMNI sponsors trade missions, procurement conferences, and MWBE certification forums to strengthen the economic capacity of the minority business community. On February 14, 2014, AMNI held their 38th Annual Legislative Business Conference and Awards Lunching entitled Towards Economic Empowerment and Inclusion in Albany, New York, in conjunction with the Black and Puerto Rican 43rd Annual Legislative Conference. Each year, AMNI honors and empowers their members and supporters by acknowledging and recognizing their incredible achievements and outstanding efforts to providing opportunities to the MWBE community and for also taking a stand and giving a voice to MWBE issues. What we want to come out of this conference is that we don't think the scoffer law, as presently interpreted, is, is in our best interest. We want it modified, we want it changed, okay? We want to talk to somebody. We don't want the trial lawyers and the speaker to simply just simply say, this is what it should be because we think, who is we? When you make, when you make a law that might wipe out my entire MWBE program, no. We will lose a minimum of $100 million out of just one agency alone, and there's two or three that does mentoring, if this law is not modified. One of the main agenda for this year's AMNI Legislative Business Conference was Reform Labor Law 240. According to the Alliance for Minority and Women Construction Businesses, the state of New York is the only state in the U.S. with the Scaffold Law 240-241 on the books. It imposes an absolute liability standard, which means the owner or contractor of a construction site is 100% liable for all damages when a worker is injured. The reform proposal preserves the right of all injured workers to sue their employer. They seek the right to submit the facts to a jury when it is appropriate. The most fundamental principle of the American jurisprudence system is the right to a fair and equitable hearing. This law threatens some major progress in the MWBE community. Over the last 10 years, the School Construction Authority has awarded $2.7 billion to 820 MWBE firms and mentor companies, and has been hailed as one of the country's most successful MWBE mentorship programs. MWBE construction companies rely on the SEA's owner-controlled insurance policy to receive already costly general liability insurance due to the scaffold law. The SEA insurance premium as a result of the scaffold law has risen 275% in the last year, and because of this, after 2014, the SEA may not be able to provide general liability insurance for construction companies it does business with. This now threatens MWBE growth. This will reduce contract opportunities for MWBE firms, decrease construction jobs for the MWBE community, and obstruct growth for the MWBE programs at the SCA. This also means 7,000 less classroom seats will be built. In its new five-year plan, 2015, to 2019, it will cost the SCA over $1.2 billion in taxpayer money for insurance costs. These costs are paid directly from the capital budget, which reduces the number of new classroom seats that can be built by at least 7,000. This includes new pre-K seats. Well, the insurance companies, they claim that that kind of law will put them out of business. People get hurt quite often in construction. The other side said, well, if we don't do it this way, poor people get hurt and never get their money because they can't afford big time returns. Well, I have a solution to that. If you get hurt, you should have a jury approach and the person who gets hurt should be able to hire an attorney 
at the expense of the person who you receive, expect to redress from. Mm -hmm. So that I can hire a big time lawyer like the company got a big time lawyer to go against me. Gotcha. All right? I think this is an issue that should go before the Attorney General. Due to this impact, business leaders and public officials from city and state level, authorities and agencies, as well as prominent private firms in construction and higher education, gather to express their concerns and advocate for a proper resolution. I was able to sit down with the president of AMNI, James Helliger, to discuss these concerns and to shed some light on how we all can reach a better resolution that will be mutually beneficial for all parties involved. Where the speaker of the state assembly said, I'm a, my company is a trial lawyer company and this is the way it should be. And it can be where I'm saying repeal the law because to repeal the law, you take away the, the, the protection of the worker. So we're not talking about that. Mm -hmm. We're talking about sitting down and working out a solution that allows for a combination of a jury standard or a prepaid attorney for the injured person to be able to hold his or her own in court. Gotcha. Remember now, the people who lose out is the minority business community because they can't afford the level of insurance that's going up. Gotcha. And the agencies that give us work say they can't afford to give us work and pay the premium that covers us. Right. So they're going to stop giving us the work. When they stop giving us the work, then I can't hire my, my neighbor. Right. I can't hire my neighbor, he loses his house. It's a rippling effect, okay? And that ripple effect has to be stopped somewhere, somehow. We need to start looking at forming groups and teams and joint ventures to maximize our resources to take on larger products. Unless we take on larger products, we cannot maximize our ability and effectiveness in a marketplace. That means I can't bring the smaller guy along because I haven't been able to get the big guys together. All right? I maintain, if I help a minority get a million dollar contract, he should help some brother or sister get a $50,000 to $100,000 contract. To find out more about the Association of Minority Enterprises of New York, send an email to amni at triplesinc.com or visit Amni online at www.amni.org. To find out how you can help and join the fight to reform scaffold law 240-241, visit the Alliance for Minority and Women Construction Businesses online at www.amwcb.com. With over 40 years of representing the MWBE community, AMNI is still on their mission to champion disparity mitigation in the public and private sectors. Thank mm -hmm. you.